and welcome back to episode 50 of the Conversion of Lifeboat Hooger. This is actually the second intro I'm doing this week as you can gather from the title of this video things are not going as swimmingly as I hoped they would be. I will show you what's going on and what I've decided to do. I hope you enjoy. Uh, we're in my shed where I have taken the water tank and the cover of it um, because the plan was to kind of finish it in the shed but basically what's happened is um, that everything that can go wrong has gone wrong and um, I've decided to scrap all this although I suppose I could sell it as a bookcase and um, start again because there's loads of stuff I don't like about it um, and it's the first job, and I hope the only one on Hooger that is giving me a load of hassle and a load of pain. It's not turning out the way I want it to. Um, Hooger is a Danish word. It means a feeling of being comfortable and comfy, make a nice place for yourself. And for some reason, this water tank is um, being anything but nice and co cooperative so um i'll take you to the boat show you what i've been doing and um yeah it's one of those things where you have to sometimes make a decision that you don't really want to make but i'll explain right as promised i'm back on the boat and i'll show you what's been going on um First of all, I'll show you the space where the water tank was going to be and will be, which is basically the keel space where, when she was still in surface, the um, air tanks were sitting. And because this is a lifeboat for 120 people, there were 10 air tanks in there, and uh, it gives quite a nice space. So the box I was making was going to go in here, but like I said, that's not going the way I wanted to go. Uh, the latest hold up was the paint that doesn't seem to be going off. I know it's kind of a wrong time of the year to be um, working with that kind of high spec paint, but I was hoping to get away with it, but it's just, it's costing me too much time and effort to get it done. And I wasn't 100% happy about it. Anyway, the plan that is now, which I think is going to be a better way of getting around things, is to actually use the bottom as is. I will coat it with um, um, paint and whatever else and then build up the sides and use the full space that I've got here. Do it in situ and... Um, yeah, I, it will give me more capacity of water because I don't think you can have too much water on the boat. And also, um, yeah, make it easier. I'm happier with it actually being a solid part of the boat instead of having a loose box, which kind of has to be bodged into place. Um, I don't know if it's making any sense, but despite all the time and money I spend on trying to make the first one, I'll... Um, I have to do it again and um, create something I'm uh, totally happy with. Um, as I'm here, I can also show you that I've started making a new box for the uh, bow thruster. All the wires are over there. They all turned white with all the dust. So I'm going to spend some time cleaning all of this up. Um, get my head around how the new construction is going to be. And I will show you. Um, so I'm basically giving up on this bit of the project, um, retrace my steps, start again on the water tank and, um, yeah, I'll take you along for the, the rest of the bumpy ride for it. So as always at the end of the episode, I'd like to show you where I'm at. This is going to be the front bulkhead of the water tank. The box for the bow thruster I'm making. I've laminated and sealed this in. The couple of layers of GRP. The other side, which is just before the water tank, and the space 
where on the left hand side which is the right hand side if you look at it that is going to be the drain for the shower and the heads and the other one is where the feeder pipe for the water tank for the fresh water is going to be and the fresh water pump is going to sit with an accumulator tank anyway it's a bit of a different episode i hope you enjoyed it if you have please leave a comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye